quadratics uh, refer to many things it can refer to an expression so we call it a quadratic expression then it can refer to an equation we call it a quadratic equation then it could be a quadratic uh, Cartesian equation there is another type of equation called a Cartesian equation so Cartesian equation which is basically a picture a quadratic uh, inequality so we can have a quadratic inequality so first the basic thing what is a quadratic expression now a quick review of what an expression uh, could refer to now an expression is made up of numbers meaning constants then symbols or variables and operations plus minus multiplication division so that's an expression so an expression is made up of constants so constants which are numbers variables like x which are symbols and operations so operations are plus minus multiplication division these are the uh, things that make up an expression uh, so a quadratic expression looks like this uh, some constant x squared plus another constant x plus another constant this is the more or less the standard quadratic expression this is what it looks like uh, it's a good idea to know the definition of a polynomial because a quadratic expression is basically a polynomial expression a second degree polynomial expression to be more precise a uh, polynomial expression is like that if you have an expression that has a constant let me call the constant a0 plus another constant let me call it a1 x to the power 1 plus another constant let me call it a2 x to the power 2 plus another constant a3 the variable is x and a is the constant remember expressions are made up of constants variables and operations and these plus these are the operations x to the power 3 and on and on and finally x sub n a sub n and x to the power it moves on like that so this is what a polynomial look like a polynomial expression a polynomial expression uh, you might not be uh, able to recognize this easily because the standard form is basically writing the highest power in front so I have written the quadratic polynomial in the standard form but if I had written it the original polynomial form it would be like this this would be uh, first of all we'll write C so this would be C so this is a naught plus we would have to write bx to the power 1 so this is a sub 1 plus a x to the power 2 so this is like a sub 2 is a and this is x to the power 2 so in uh, in polynomials what happens the exponent of the variable x has to be positive so the exponent has to be positive so x to the power 1 to the power 2 to the power 3 uh, to the power and all of them has to be positive but the constant can be positive or negative it doesn't really matter so the standard form is writing the highest power in front so that's a polynomial some examples of polynomials are where we have uh, a again I'm writing in the standard form where I'm writing the highest power of x in front so a x plus b this is first degree polynomial or linear then ax squared plus bx plus c second degree polynomial or quadratic and we have ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d third degree polynomial or uh, cubic so we have these three common polynomials expressed in the standard form uh, the more formal definition is writing the highest power of x at the end so remember a polynomial is an expression where the highest all the powers of x or the variables remember expressions of variables they're all positive so quadratic polynomial so whenever we're talking about quadratic expression we're referring to a quadratic polynomial so that's the basic definition of quadratic expression it's a second degree polynomial expression the next thing uh, to talk about in quadratics is the equation so let me write down the definition of equation over here so equation 
An equation is an expression that is equal to zero. In other words, it is made up of constants and it is made up of variable which is x variables and it is made up of operations like plus minus uh, multiplication division operations and one more thing it has the equal to sign this sign the equal to sign so when when you see a uh, quadratic in the format of ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0 we are going to call this a quadratic equation this one over here is a quadratic expression or a second degree polynomial expression that's what it is it's a polynomial expression and this is a quadratic equation and what can we do to this equation well we solve it we solve the equation or find the unknown values of x of that equation also known as the root of that equation so we solve for roots now remember this root is not the same as the square root which means where the exponent of the power is half so this is a different it means the unknown values of x of any equation is called the roots and remember a quadratic equation will have at most two roots now this is found from uh, one uh, instance of the fundamental uh, rule of algebra which says by looking at an equation you can actually figure out how many root it can have at most it's one of the instance of the fundamental rule of uh, algebra and from this is the idea if you have a quadratic equation it would have at most two unknown values of x what does it mean it might have two it might have one unknown values of x or it might have no unknown values of x meaning no real roots it can have at most two roots Next, let's move on to the Cartesian equation. Cartesian equation is not the same as just a solving equation where you solve for unknown values of x. A Cartesian equation, two variables. It's an equation that would have two variables, usually in the format of y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. This is a Cartesian quadratic equation. So it would have two variables. One is this x and you know it is quadratic because the highest power of x is 2 and it will also have y so Cartesian equations uh, you don't solve them you uh, draw pictures of them and you draw the pictures of them on a special plane known as the Cartesian coordinate system plane or the Cartesian plane and if you put dots over there so Cartesian equation of the quadratic looks like a parabola like this it would look like a parabola so this is the shape of the Cartesian quadratic equation it looks like a parabola let me write it down P A R A B O L A. So it's a parabola so that's a Cartesian equation now there is a connection between the uh, the equation the solving equation and the Cartesian equation it simply means quadratic equation has at most two roots that means a Cartesian equation meaning the parabola this is what the picture looks like would cut the x-axis there is a horizontal number line known as the x-axis at most at two points the quadratic inequality refers to inequality inequality refers to not the equal to sign but the inequality sign it means it could be a x squared plus b x plus c less than zero or it could be ax squared plus bx plus c greater than zero. Of course, it can also be uh, less than or equal to zero, written like this, always read from the left hand side, or it could be greater than or equal to sign. So there are basically four types of inequality symbols. And uh, when we solve this, we don't find the root, we find sets of values of x. Because there are many. When you say something is equal to 1, there is exactly one value. But if you say something is less than 1, there can be many values. It can be thousands of, hundreds and thousands of values. It could be minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, on and on. So that's what it refers to. Uh, it refers to inequalities. Sets of values of x. So, when we say quadratics, we are talking about the quadratic expression, 
you are talking about the quadratic equation you are talking about the cartesian quadratic equation which which is a picture a parabola and uh, and the inequality which when you solve it you are actually finding the sets of values of x instead of one exact or two exact value of x now one final thing so the quadratics uh, is usually referred to as the quadratic function so you'll hear it is said as the quadratic function so it is written as fx equals to ax squared plus bx plus c a function uh, usually means uh, for every one value of x there will be exactly one value of fx so that's what a function is and a quadratic function is written as fx or gx like this so if it is a quadratic expression it is written as fx equal to the quadratic expression if it is a equation remember fx already represents the expression so it would be fx equals to 0 if it's a Cartesian quadratic equation, it will be written as y equals to fx, the function we put here. And if it is inequality, it is simply fx less than 0 or fx greater than 0 or fx less than or equal to 0 or fx greater than or equal to 0.